Hello guys. Still Saturday the 17th of June. Um, I've managed to um, control my dog. So we're back again. And I thought this is the only way that I'm going to be able to have a wee natter with you. Um, is doing it in a separate video. If I wee natter um, in one video, then I'll upload whatever video. Showing the garden, fruit or veg. And if I want to have a wee natter with these again, then I'll do it this way. And just up upload them separate. It's the only way I can do it until um, I'll get the GoPro and whatever else sorted. So as you can hear them in the background, our wee solar fountain is spurting away in the back. I think I can see it. Very, very sunny. But before hubby left, um, he's put this like sort of green netting up in the back fence there. I'll show you it when I'm doing a video. Um, the borders here, when it gets wet, and it's been absolutely bucketing down a couple of days um, last week. But within two or three hours of the sun coming out again, it's rock solid. So, as well as giving us a little bit of pri privacy when I'm sitting down here beside the pond reading my book, and it's nice of a wee bit of privacy, especially when hobbies are away. Um, you're not wanting people seeing you lying about, or... Well, I don't. Um, so it's given me privacy and it's taken a lot of the direct sunlight off the plants. We've got Cricosma in there, that is, this is the first year I've put the little, is it tubers I think? Um, so it's stopping the direct heat getting onto them and it's looking a wee bit better for it. Our dailies are starting to come out. Our ferns are thriving now they've got a wee bit of shade because they're actually from the down the bottom of the garden, the wooded bit. And we brought them up a few years ago, didn't think they were going to take. But it's come up great guns, I'll show you that again in a wee minute. Um, my pond, I know I mentioned in a few, um, I mentioned a few videos ago about my pond and it being green. And I'm sure I mentioned it last year as well at some point. And it's nothing to do with algae. Uh, the pond has been cleaned out umpteen times. But it just keeps coming back. Uh, and I have looked up, but we did use the barley straw extract, not the barley straw itself. I heard it works for a, a, a little length of time, but then it doesn't work. I did put the barley straw extract in it, and it was really, really expensive for what it was. I mean, the bottle was only about that size, uh, and it done nothing, absolutely nothing. So when I looked up, I looked up online yesterday, and it said that I needed some UVA filter type thing or or whatever. So the last time I cleaned it out, I actually found fish at the bottom. What about that size? Silver. What wee sprats. And I also looked that up online um, to see why we were getting fish in the pond. And they're right down the very bottom. You never see them coming up the top at all. Um, so I don't know if they're bottom feeders or whatever else. But when I did look that up on the wildlife thing, um, it, it, it did say that it could come in on... If birds have been in somebody else's pond or lakes or whatever, um, they can pick up the wee eggs on their legs and then when they come in for a wee dip here, because it's beautiful, um, then they tend to drop them off. So I'm thinking that's where we've got our fish. So we've got two anyway. Um, two wee fishes. So the wee fishes are in the water. And some are thin. And some are fatter. And I've said before in another video, you can see them all scatter. Didn't you soak its bed of hair? There you go, that's a little poem from Travis. Half my not. I think it's the sun. Sun's affecting my heat. But I hope you'll disagree. My heat's always been a wee bit kind of do lally. What I would also like to say, I was a wee bit down yesterday. A wee bit of bad news yesterday morning. No, um, no life-threatening news. Um, 
a wee bit of life changing news I would think. So I was a wee bit down yesterday afternoon. But hey ho, dust yourself down, pick yourself up and start all over again. Oh dear Claire, I need to go and see a psychiatrist. Anyway, between that and, um, and hubby leaving, he's away for six weeks, Afghanistan. So that's a worry as well, but at the end of the day it's must to bring the pennies in. I've also, I don't know if it's come up on Google Plus, I have actually put it up on Google Plus. Um, I've started my, I've started an online shop. Uh, no garden related or anything like that, but I've, I, I thought, I've always wanted to do it. So I've, I'd, so I've started an online shop. It's, I think it's live for looking at, um, but there's only three or four things, maybe five things that's on it at the minute, because I'm still waiting, I've put orders in, so I'm still waiting for uh, produce to come. Produce? I don't think that's right. Products? Yes. I'm waiting for products still to come that I've bought, and then we'll get it up and running. Uh, it will basically be to start off with, it'll, um, it's chosen clothes, cosmetic jewellery, this, that and the next thing. So we'll do that in another video. Uh, I maybe open up another, another site on YouTube once it's up and running and see how we go with that. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed for that because not only will it keep me busy, well the garden and etc, the animals keep me busy. But it'll keep me busy come the winter months, hopefully. Bring in some extra income, hopefully. Uh, trying to pick quirky stuff, etc. One-off pieces for toddlers, kids, etc. <coughs> that you don't get anywhere else. So that's a totally different, totally entirely different um, video, YouTube video, etc altogether so we'll cut that short just now because it's it's no relevant here. But I'm just trying to think what to say to you as in I've not had a, a right wee natter on this for a while. Oh there's a wee birds, wee blue tits. Oh dear and I can't even turn it around it's dying to get into the water. There's two young ones. It's trying to get through the fence but it can't get through. See, the young ones don't tend to bother with you when you're sitting about. They come right up. I don't know if you can hear them. Can you hear them? I see them. Oh, oh, oh. They just flew over my head. They're probably dying for a wee dip in the pond. Um, I'll do another video at some point. Watching them um, having a wee bath and whatever in the pond. It's absolutely amazing. We did see the other day, I thought it was a bullfrog, but when I looked it up, it actually wasn't. It was, a, it, it, what they call in France, a common toad. But it was like this, and I, honest to God, I think I've got a photograph somewhere, it is like this. And obviously, usually the males are, are the bigger. But um, no, it's a female, and this common toad, there's another name for it, but it's a common toad in France. Uh, Absolutely enormous she was. I think I've got a photograph of her, I'm not sure. Yes, I am, I'm sure I am. Right, anyway, I'll stop this wee gabbing. Um, get the grass cut this afternoon. And then chill like a will, I think, for the rest of the day, after the grass is done. So for now, guys, nice to have a wee blather. Um, Catch up with you again soon. What I'm going to do now is put this one off. I'll upload it. And then I'll do another wee video. That was uh, because I get cut off because I'm a crazy dog. So I'll finish that one off. Um, and pop that up. So there's probably two or three you'll get today. But as I said before, uh, apologies. That I can't put them all together. Because I've explained beforehand. Uh, I'm, using the, I'm using the iPad now until such times we get the GoPro sorted. Okay, so take care guys. Um, I hope I've not bored you too much and uh, 
I hope you enjoy the, next, the video that's to come up. Do have a lovely weekend, whatever you're doing. And for tomorrow, because I don't think I'll have a video up tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, happy Father's Day for tomorrow to everybody out there. Okay, so from Clarisse in the beautiful southwest of France where the sun is shining and the birds are tooting away. Au revoir. Toodle pip. And bye for now, guys. Bye.